crossword fans. Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. All right, let's get started. All right, it looks like our grid is a little bit taller than usual. I think we have a 16 by 15 here. Must have been done to accommodate the theme for some reason. All right, let's start with one across. Stirs in. Stirs in. Hmm. It's not ads. Interesting. I wonder if we have rebuses. Hmm. One end of a cell? Is that like a cell phone? Or maybe a biological cell? Or a prison cell? Hmm. Interesting. Candlelit dinners for four, say? I really want that to be double dates. Right? Hmm. I'm definitely getting some Rebus vibes from this puzzle so far. I generally find if I'm having trouble putting things in that feel like they should fit, it's down to a Rebus. Because if this was ads, it could be like A, D, D, S, and then like double date? Hmm, that like DD and double date. I'm not sure exactly how it would be put in though. Dates? Dates? Oh, what if it's just dates? Two dates right in a row. So it's almost like every square would be a rebus. So it'd be D-D-A-A-T-T-E-E-S-S. -S. That would be double dates, right? Let's see if this is going to be two A's in a row here. If it's like non or something. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Leavened flapbread. Man, we got onto this rebus really fast. That's really great. Okay. So this is then ads, right? Ooh, this rebus button is going to get a workout today. Okay, so that would be... Let's put in all the rebuses. E, E, S, S, T, T. I don't think anybody's going to be sending any time records on today's puzzle just because of the uh, amount of times you're going to have to go and click the rebus button. Okay. Tractor maker is going to be John Deere. And then member of an ancient Jewish sect. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Okay. An end of a cell. If it's a battery cell, it would be an anode. Okay. Is this Ottomans? Furniture also called hassocks. Uh, I think so. The little thing you can put your feet up on, right? How boring. A nonverbal clue with the brackets here. It could be snore. Ooh, man, I, yeah, I have no idea what this should be. Kind of health, could be mental health maybe? Rebus puzzles are good for your mental health. In the style of could be Allah. Signature Obama legislation briefly, that would be the Affordable Care Act, right? ACA. High pitch, could that be a lob like in baseball? A high pitch would be a lob. If and or but abbreviated. Those are conjunctions, right? So that'd be a J at the end. Tired and bored. Hmm. Tired and bored. Is this wordplay? I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Biblical name repeated in a Faulkner title. Hmm. Is it like Absalom or something? Hmm. That's not, it doesn't seem to be quite right. Let's see if we can build out this way. Exhaust one's funds for betting. Tap out. I think you're tapped out, you don't have any money left. Title on Downton Abbey. Hmm. 
Is it Earl? Is this an L? Are you sure about that? An equivalent phrase. Really, maybe? Yeah, that L looks good there. Okay, maybe it is Earl. Can we get this cross here? Catchphrase on The Simpsons? Is that I Carumba? That is classic Bart Simpson right there. That is like 1989 Bart Simpson. Okay, all right, that, that's good. I feel like we can maybe build back up in this direction, hopefully. Curry made with hoof meat, ugh. I definitely don't know that. Um, yeah, geez, I think I'm just not familiar with this name. Strengthen one's commitment and a hint to four answers in this puzzle. Okay, I'm glad we got the revealer because I think we kind of got mechanically what's going on here. Um, and it's nice to know how many of these super rebus downs we're gonna get. Um, well, they might not all be downs. Although it's looking like the revealer is going to be double down, right? And then maybe that does mean they're all gonna be downs. Excellent, so we know they're all gonna be downs and we know to look out for four of them. And I guess that's probably why we've got a longer grid vertically today. Um, I wonder if we're gonna have one in like each quadrant maybe? That's what my guess would be. Tired and bored, could that be jaded? Uh, Absalom? That's kind of close to what I wanted it to be. Dings on a record. I'm just gonna put an L there. I think that's what that should be. What kind of record? Hmm, like an actual vinyl record? I don't know. Relatives of Glockenspiels. Probably ends in an S. Initials for a trip that could be a drug trip maybe? This is kind of wordplay. LSD, acid. Yeah, that's kind of a misdirection there. Things that are far from basic. This is indicated wordplay. It's probably acids, right? Literally the opposite of bases on the pH scale. Okay. It's no free ride. Could that be a cab? You do have to pay for cabs. Hmm. Is this like a word for a cuckoo clock or something? I don't know. Phony internet persona often? That could be a bot, not a real person on the internet. Quite green? Maybe not like inexperienced, but like eco-conscious? It probably starts with eco. Um, we might be running into a rebus over here somewhere, so. Whatever we're thinking of, it might be an extra letter. Hmm. Even it would be doubled. I'm not sure. Locale pub offering. Okay, that definitely looks like it should be light beer. So that kind of reveals where our next double down is. Very good. Okay. React to a gut punch, maybe. Um, I think if you got punched in the stomach, you might double over, right? In pain. Okay, very good. Double over. And then that'll help fill in these crosses here. British trunk is a boot on your car. So maybe it's an eco... Hmm, no, what is this? Two Vs? It's very unusual. Maybe it's eco-savvy? I've never heard that term before. I hope this is tire, the British way of spelling tire. That would be a great cross for the British boot here. Oh, nope, it's TV host Tyra Banks, okay. And then what's this last rebus here? Literally earth, is that terra, like terra firma? Honey could be babe, yeah, that's a pet name, okay. Takes effect, could that be sets in? All right, yeah, I think we can most likely expect this one and this one to be doubled also, because that would be nice if they were mirrored. 
Okay. So we don't have to worry about rebuses for a little while, probably. Um, could this be losses? I guess on a record, like a win-loss record. Okay. Celestas? I've never heard of that. Kind of sounds like it could be clock-like, though. Like it's tracking the celestial bodies in the sky or something like that to mark time. I have no idea if that's actually what it is. Mini albums for short could be EPs, extended plays. Okay. Nina Companion. Uh, I guess if we're talking about Columbus, that was the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, right? Gobble up, that is Snarf. It's always Snarf on the New York Times crossword. It's never Scarf. Snarf up, yep. Company advertised by a quack wordplay. So it's not a unlicensed doctor. This is literally a quack because the mascot for Aflac is a duck, right? Okay, Blank Page Johnson, co-creator of TV's Blues Clues. Oh man, is it Trish? I'm not sure about that one. Pester constantly could be nag at. Blank Pals could be Gal Pals, yeah, so it's not Trish. State with more than half of Mexico's indigenous language speakers. Is it Oaxaca, maybe? I think that seems like a good guess. X starting here? What is this? Legendary home to Kubla Khan. Ooh, is it somewhere in China? Hmm, I'm not sure. This looks like it could be Tracy. Maybe with an I, because T-I-C seems more plausible than T-Y-C. Like bad apples and sour grapes. And this is wordplay. Hmm. I think the standard reading of this would be bad apples is like a bad person and sour grapes is like you're upset about something that didn't go your way. So I think those are the readings we can discount. Maybe this has to be about literal fruit somehow. Um, hmm. Bad fortune? Could that be doom? Singer Tori is Tori Amos, right? Um, dramatic? Huh, it seems like it's dramatic. Melodramatic? What? What's going on here? Pub offering could be an ale. Able to practice in a way. Maybe practice a law? Um, oh, is this idiomatic? Oh, because bad apples and sour grapes are idioms. Ooh, that is tricky. Okay. All right, so maybe that does give us doom here. And then seen a lot. Could that be common? Okay. Peace in Saudi Arabia. Oh man. This is tough. Is this Xanadu? Is that right? It might be. Hmm. Is this Salam? Ooh, because that could give us our double A here, right? Okay. Yeah, because I think it most likely is mirrored, so this would be a good spot to have our double Rebus here. Spy with questionable loyalty? Yeah, that's a double agent, right? Okay. Ooh, boy. Take some time to put in these Rebuses. All right. Okay, so that's Salam. Right, because it's Salam Aleikum means peace be with you, right? I think that's right. Okay. Sayings attributed to Jesus. Hmm. I'm not sure. Is there a word for that? Covered in some green growth. That's got to be mossy. It's got those nice S's at the end of it. Rest stops, inns, yeah. Profession for Elwoods in Legally Blonde, abbreviated, that's attorney. 
Is she a licensed attorney? Yeah, I bet she is. Okay. Uh, licensed, I think, is spelled like that. All right. Grown-up pupper is a doggo. That's very cutesy dog-based language in both clue and answer here. Uh, wow, yeah, this is... This looks totally unfamiliar to me. Some asylum seekers. That should be refugees, right? Okay. Logia? Wow, yeah. <laughs> it's a new one for me. Silly bands or webkins once? That's gotta be faz. I don't even know what... I think I maybe know what silly bands are. Those are the little shape bracelets, right? I have no idea what webkins are. Took a turn. Hmm... There's a few different meanings that could be. My bad, an equivalent phrase. I'm to blame? Not quite. Currently airing. Hmm. Is that on now? Okay. Material in some vaccines? That's RNA. That's in the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, right? A little reference to current events there. Pay stub initials. Is that year to date? I see that on pay stubs. Okay. Took a turn, went. Hmm. I, oh, okay. Like in a board game. Okay. That makes sense. And then my bad is I'm sorry. Okay. Fixes as a hem. Could that be re -sos? Mythical giant with 150 downs. Uh, I bet this is Argus, because Argus was a mythical giant with a hundred eyes. Very nice. Brewery supply? Uh, that could be yeast. Bit of hijinks. Um, hmm. What is that going to be? Word with gender or age? Age gap, gender gap? I guess maybe, because this could be caper, right? A bit of hijinks, okay. I can be of surface. An equivalent phrase could be use me. <laughs> You're very keen to help. Pound, bound, hound, say. Whew, that's quite a tongue twister. I guess that could be a stray, stray doggo. Peanuts character with glasses. Hmm. I don't know if I know that one. Bops or hits, say. Is this about striking something? You know what? Let's take a look at our last doubled down answer. That'll probably help out in this corner quite a bit. Hotel chain operated by Hilton. Isn't it double tree? Am I wrong about that? I think I've heard of that. Okay. Let's do double tree. Top story. Could that be an attic? Like in a house? The top story of a house? Yeah. Okay. Halls into court. Could that be a reins? That seems like it could be right. Two A's here. Influential DC lobby, is that the AARP? The American Association of Retired Persons, I think is what that is. Okay. Alpo competitor is IAMS, yes, okay. Come out again, re-emerge. Yeah, having this double tree here really helped a lot in this corner. Marcy had Glasses. Okay, I think that is vaguely... That is vaguely familiar. Is that Peppermint Patty's friend? I think that's who that is, right? Okay, what's this last one here? Supply center wordplay. The word supply has two P's in the center, right? Okay. Despicable Me Antihero. Oh man, I still haven't seen this movie. I know people really like this. Is it Gru? With a U? Is that right? Alternative to the euro could be the US dollar, right? Okay. And then bops or hits are both songs. Okay. 
All right, let's see if we can finish off on the US dollar down here. Very nice. A Thursday in 21, that seems very good, especially for a pretty tricky theme. Yeah, I think, I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's very smooth, but I think it might be a little tricky to exactly see what's going on here. Um, once you get that aha moment though, that is very satisfying. And this is a very good revealer. It describes perfectly what's going on here. Doubled downs, four of these here. Um, yeah, this seems really good. I wonder if they tried to do more and it was just hard to put in. I imagine you could have maybe tried to squeeze in two more doubled downs here, but probably trying to fill in a grid with that many theme answers was probably too much of a challenge. Um, and I'm still very happy with the four that we got. I think these um, these three are the strongest. Double Tree, it's fine, it's a brand, but I still really loved this theme. This is great. Um, there's some tricky fill in here. Absalom, ooh, Logia, it's some really tough biblical trivia there. Um, Oaxaca is really cool fill. Oaxaca crossing Xanadu. Very tricky, but it's great. That X, wow. Yeah. Ottomans, another interesting sort of place name. Clued as furniture. Uh, yeah. Eco Savvy, I've never heard of. Celestas. Yeah, there's some very tricky vocab on this puzzle here. <laughs> I love Icarumba. <laughs> it's so great. Oh, man. That's a lot of fun. Well, I hope you had a lot of fun doubling down on this Thursday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the themeless Friday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.